As expected, isolated showers and a few thunderstorms have formed along the lake shore and moved kind of into our more inland counties. And now a few of those little showers are starting to pop up towards Kalamazoo as well. Putting this into motion over the last hour, you can see a lot of those showers started out on the lake and they're now moving towards Muskegon and Oceana counties with a few additional showers starting to pop a bit farther south. The lightning makes it look a little bit more intense than it is because some of those strikes stay on the screen for quite some time after the shower thunderstorm has moved away. But you can see just a couple of isolated showers and a couple of thunderstorms out there into Oceana and Muskegon County starting to move into Nuego and a few of these starting to pepper into maybe parts of Western Kent County as well. All of this right along this warm front as it continues to lift to the north, feeding the atmosphere a little bit of energy. And we also have some warm air and humidity down towards the surface that leads to that chance for isolated thunderstorms and showers as well. All of this though, only going to be happening for the next couple of hours. And we also are starting to see our temperatures rise as the warm air takes over. We've already hit our low temperature for the day and it's just after midnight. Most of us in the middle fifties, but more of these sixties now coming into play in the southwest corner of the area and that's that warm air. It's going to start to creep farther to the north over the next couple of hours. As we go through 2 or 3 a.m., all of these showers and maybe a couple thunderstorms could persist east of 131, but by the time we get to about 3 o'clock, most of this is going to be to our east. Once this front passes through into the mid-morning, it is going to get very warm very quickly and also very breezy. These yellow lines are our wind streams, and they are cranking through the afternoon on Tuesday with some of our winds that could be getting upwards of 30 to 40 mile an hour gusts. It's definitely going to be a breezy one. Rain totals continue to come down here through early tomorrow morning, but hopefully we'll get a little bit, probably about a tenth to a quarter of an inch at the most, but there is another opportunity for rain later this week, so don't worry. Temperatures through the afternoon, they're going to continue to warm quickly, getting us all the way up to 79 degrees, and that wind southwest 15 to 25 with gusts up to 40 miles an hour might blow away some of those Halloween decorations or some of your patio furniture. You may want to bring that inside if you have the opportunity to do so because it's going to be very gusty. That wind from the south, though, helping to pull up warm air, getting us to potential record highs. So these are what's listed for October. October 29th, Grand Rapids, the forecast 79, the record 77, Muskegon, Kalamazoo, and Holland, all forecast for 70s to around 80 degrees, getting very close to, if not breaking, the record high for the day Tuesday. And then we have another opportunity Wednesday in each of those major cities for Wednesday too could see record highs. So abnormally warm temperatures as we close out the month of October. And then we get to Halloween. This is our second rain chance of the week. It looks like it's going to be morning showers with a cold front temperatures falling through the day. Little chilly for trick or treat time in front.